Welcome to Horrorverse, my name is Cody Hawk and today we'll be discussing the 2019 dark comedy Ready or Not. Um, I just watched, we just watched this last night, me and my wife did. Um, it's got a couple of notable names I guess. It has Samara Weaving, I think's her name, which the only thing I know her from was The Babysitter. And then Adam Brody, who has been a few, I don't think he's, I don't know of any big budget movies he's been in. I'm sure there has been some, but none that I know of. But those are only two notable characters I recognize in the movie. Um, but anyways, that's not, that's not the point of this review. This is a review of the actual movie. Um, and I really enjoyed this movie, actually. My wife was the one that wanted to go see it. I didn't really care. Um, I mean, it seemed like it could be okay. It seemed like one of those lower budget horror type whatever movies, you know. And I just, I wasn't really that interested in it. And then I saw a few, a couple of viewers reviewed it and seemed to really enjoy it. So I was like, well, I'll give it a try. And overall, I thought it was great. Um, the only thing I've seen people complain about is a couple of like uh, recording, like uh, visuals, I guess you could say. Um, and from the things I've seen, they talk about stuff that you have to be, know a lot about film to notice. Um, like someone I saw said they, had a problem with the way they used handhelds for the video or for the movie and that's not something I notice um, just because I'm not into film like that so that has nothing to do with me so I'm not going to be talking about any of that kind of stuff if that is a problem with the movie um, but the acting was good the um, violence is pretty entertaining too I mean I don't know if you call this a horror movie it's kind of a slasher movie I guess in a way but then it's also a comedy and for the most part, from what I can remember, all the comedy hit for me. I mean, I laughed more in this movie than I've watched a movie or laughed in a movie in a while. Um, so overall, I thought it was a really good movie. Um, the uh, deaths in the movie is pretty entertaining. <laughs> the end of it was, it's an ending where I think a lot of people be pissed about because some character development that happened in the movie kind of got reversed, which for a movie aspect kind of is a bad thing but for I felt like for me I it was funny and since this is a dark comedy it was fine with me um, some characters do some things that you wouldn't expect them to do because of the way their character has been portrayed and then they just flip at the end of the movie um, and like I said sometimes that might be bad but for the way this movie was I thought it was good it was funny um, it was entertaining um, it had that just enough that horror aspect, that slasher movie that for a horror fan you would enjoy it. Um, I really like movies where people are in, include or stuck in one place for the entire movie because it really makes the director and the writer and everyone involved with this movie really have to think um, about what to do because they're in they're, they're they never leave this house. Um, there's a few scenes where they're like outside of the house, like still on the grounds of the, this home, but they never leave that area. So that makes it really, that makes it a lot more difficult to find things to do, find stuff for characters to say and interact with, and find reasons to why they stay in this house. You know, because I mean, realistically, you think you just leave, but they do things that make it where they might try to leave, but it doesn't work or something happens and stuff like that. Um, so overall, I thought it was a really good movie. Um, like I said, I really wasn't expecting to enjoy this movie as much as I did. It's kind of like Krampus to me, I guess is the best way for me to put it. Um, Krampus is overly cheesy, over the top, dark comedy horror movie. Um, but I love that movie so much, me and my wife both did, that that's became a Christmas tradition to watch that movie every year. And that's kind of how this movie was, is it's so ridiculous, it's so over the top. But they nailed it just perfectly with the comedy and the horror. They put them just right in the middle where it was, I mean, not flawless, flawless, obviously. I um, mean, there's a few problems with it. Like I said, some of the character arcs and development was a little weird. Um, I mean, you can say the, the acting was over the top, but it was supposed to be. Like, I mean, there's some characters in this that's overly ridiculous, but they're meant to be. That's the point of the movie. Um, so I'm not going to count that as a negative for it. Um, really, the only negative I personally have was just some of the character arcs were kind of weird. Like the one they twisted and changed it, there wasn't much reasoning behind it but to keep the story going. Um, but yeah, so overall, I would recommend going to see this movie in theater, especially since it's not a well-known movie. I, I mean, I don't think. 
illustrious into these kind of movies. Because when we went to see it, I had no idea it released on a Tuesday. That's the only reason we decided to go see it is because I was off. Um, you know, because usually movies release Thursday and Friday. Um, and in our theater, it's an uh, it was under a special category, I guess. It's a thing that our we have an AMC in our th here in our town, and it's a thing where they do to try to raise some of these lower budget indie movies so people notice know them more um, which is really awesome i'm really glad that they're doing that um because there was a couple it was this movie and then um once upon a time in hollywood which i haven't watched yet movies like that that most people wouldn't know because they're not big budget actors and directors and stuff like that um so it's really cool i know i'm getting off subject but i just want to say it's really awesome that movie theaters are doing that now for these lower budget movies um, but so yeah, I would recommend going to see it if you like dark comedy horror movies like that, slashers, stuff like that. I would go see it. Samara Weaving, I think that's how you say her name. She was amazing, honestly. I loved her. Like I said, I've seen her in The Babysitter, which is, a, I mean, it's become one of those cult classic movies, but I personally didn't like it. Um, but she did great. Um, I mean, she was very convincing and compelling, and you was rooting for her this entire movie. Because it's a big thing, you know, with horror movies or any movie, they have to have a main character that you're rooting for the whole time, or you lose interest, and they nailed that. She was amazing. Um, Adam Brody, I, li I like Adam Brody. There's a couple movies I've seen him in that I enjoy, um, but I wasn't expecting him. I wasn't expecting him to be, like, the main character, because from the trailer, he just kind of seemed like, you know, the, the side characters, you know, stuff like that, just to have some conversation with. And I wouldn't say he's necessarily the main, one of the main characters. He's just part of the family. But you really almost understood him more than anyone else. Because everyone else in this, show, in this movie is, you know, they're crazy or just out there, ridiculous. But he's more grounded to earth. To where if you were in this situation, you had this messed up family that had these weird ritual things going on. And you were stuck with them he is how you would be like he was an alcoholic he didn't give a shit about anything um he didn't even want to you know kill the main character he was just there because he had to be because he's part of the family um and he had a lot of funny moments because he hates the entire family he's just stuck with them so i really enjoyed him every time he was on screen i thought he did great and his character was awesome so overall i think it was a pretty good movie um definitely probably one of the better horror movies this year that I can remember. Um, I did see Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, which I haven't reviewed. I might not review that. I'm not sure yet. Um, but this was better, in my opinion. I mean, if you like the Scary Stories books, you'll enjoy that movie. But for me, I don't remember much about the books, so I have no nostalgia for it. Um, but overall, really solid, crafted horror movie, dark comedy, whatever you want to call it. Great acting, great visuals. Um... And I'm about to give this movie an 8 out of 10. Um, I thought it was really well shot, really well done, well acted. And I definitely recommend you guys going to see it in theaters before it leaves. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.